And I'm telling you, man, Rasmus Kumpelainen is so fun. Like, he's massive and not the – it's interesting because I said this before. Like, it's tough to say – like, he's not the best skater in the world, but he makes it work because he's so incredibly, A, skilled, but B, like, shifty, where, like, he knows he doesn't have that, like – burning speed but like he can just somehow from a standstill like deke you out and create like three feet of separation for himself and he did it a few times where it was like high risk like he had two guys on him at his at the offensive blue line where if they stripped him of the puck like it was a two on oh for sure and every time he looks like he's just like dead to rights gonna like cough up the puck and he just gets through whoever it is every time drives to the net draws penalties like and he obviously is not afraid of the physical side of the game. So, you know, he's got all the skill in the world. He's very fun. He's very flashy with the puck, but he also has a mean streak in front of the net too. So he makes himself quite a versatile offensive player. Um, but I thought he made a ton of plays with the puck that, that stood out quite often. So he's, he's really fun. Again, I said this when they, after the draft, like sneaky, the most intriguing pick was that Kumpa line and just because he's got those foundational like traits and skills that make him ultimately successful at like the NHL level. It's yeah. just, there's a few major roadblocks he's going to have to get over like the skating part. And he's going to have to make himself quite useful defensively, but um, kind of important. Um, yeah. Okay, but well, just well, so fun to watch though. 